Hi everyone, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use GPS in your mobile application made with Kivi. I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, the first thing I always do is just grab my project folder. So all I have here is my main.kv file and my main.py file. So here's my main.py file. Um, you can see I don't have any kind of logic in here or anything, it's just a blank app. And also in my KV file, all I have is a label just it, that says hey. So there's no interface here, I'm just going to be uh, getting GPS uh, data from, from your phone. Alright, the first thing you need to do is from import, or sorry, from plier import GPS. Now this is important because you need to have access to the plier module um, in, your, in your project on your, on your phone. Basically, for Kivi iOS, you're going to need to do something like toolchain.py uh, pip install plier. Okay? For Android, I think you'd probably uh, add plier to like your requirements and your bulldozer spec if you're um, using the, the bulldozer uh, tool. Okay. I won't show that. I'll show it for, for iOS, though. All right. So we've imported GPS. I have access to it on my uh, phone because in my iOS project, I've said... Uh, toolchain pip install ply plier. Okay, so let's get some logic in here. I'm going to define the on start function. So on start is uh, a function that comes with the kivi.app class. So it's called anytime that your app starts at the very beginning. Uh, what if you want to do something like initialize stuff? I'm going to initialize GPS here. So I'll do GPS dot configure, and then when I configure my GPS. I have to give it a function to call every time it receives a new like GPS location. And by default, every every second it'll call your function. So you say on location, and then you pass it the name of a function you want to use. So I'll say self dot on GPS location. All right, and then you say GPS dot start, and at this point it'll start recording GPS data. Now I need to define the uh, on GPS location function. So I'll say def on GPS location, and it needs self and it needs quargs here. So uh, it's it's automatically passed a bunch of keyword arguments, and you'll see what those are in just a moment. For now, I'm going to this. Well, this is how you get access to like the different keyword arguments. It's just a dictionary, um, and you'll get like lat, lon. I'm going to go ahead and change the latitude and longitude because I don't want my exact Latin longitude showing up in a video. You guys might understand. And then I'll just go ahead and print quarks so you guys can see everything that comes along with that. So this is all the Python code that you need to get GPS working. I'm going to move over to my iOS project. Okay. So here I am. I've created this using the Kivi iOS um, tool. If you don't know how to do this yet, I've got a video on it. I'll put a link uh, and you guys can check that out if you haven't gotten this. Anyway, I'm assuming you know how to get an app on your phone, on your iPhone for this uh, section. And what we need to do is ask for permission from the user to use their GPS location. So to do that, you're going to click inside of this resources tab here and then go to this, uh, your, your plist file. This is their, your, all your app's permissions. And then click right here, click on this plus, and then type in privacy, location, there you'll see it. So privacy dash location when in use. Okay. So then I click over here and I can add in a string. This is the message that pops up when the app asks them to get permission. So I'll say uh, this app needs your uh, or needs to access GPS. Okay. Enter. There you go. So what I did was I clicked here. I typed in privacy dash location whatever and it just autofilled so location when in usage description is the name of that and then you give it whatever text you want to pop up and now let me connect my phone and I've selected my phone from up here that is my target and I'm just gonna go ahead and run my app again if you have any trouble getting getting your app on your phone that's not the topic of this video, but I do have a video on that that I made earlier, so go check that out if you don't know how to get your app on your on your iPhone at least yet. Okay, so here you can see that I've got the pop-up on my phone, and I'll go ahead and click Allow. And then now you can see that what's being printed out in the console is the latitude, longitude, speed, bearing, altitude, um, and accuracy it looks like. 
So there you go. That's all that you get with the GPS module. Um, there's a couple more little bits and pieces. I'll just put a link to like the, uh, the source code. But hopefully that tutorial was helpful for you, and now you know how to get GPS on your phone. Um, and stay tuned for more videos. All right, thanks for watching. Thank you.